Sunday. I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend so far. Uh, we have a little bit of a new camera set up today. I figured, why stand when I can sit, right? So that's what we're doing. We're sitting at a table. There's, uh, there's the view. It is rather windy outside today, so hopefully that's not going to flush out a lot of the uh, audio. I don't know yet. Uh, need to hook up a microphone, I think. So anyway, I'm here today to talk about the new Toyota Tacoma. And it's, let's see, let me, I got to get this thing up in front of me here. YouTube always seems to be a little bit slow when it comes to notifying about the live streams, I guess. You know, I'm looking at it right in front of uh, myself and it just now kicked in. So a minute into the live stream, it's finally kicked in with a, it looks like a commercial for Bauer. I don't know, some tool or something. I guess they are tools uh, from Harbor Freight. Anyway, back to the beginning. I hope everybody is having a great Sunday. Down here in South Texas, it is, uh, what is the temperature here? It's 78-ish degrees, something like that. You guys can see outside. It is bright sunshine. Uh, a little bit uh, overcast outside, I think, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it is a nice day to do a live stream, right? Daryl, good morning, Rob. How you doing, sir? It's good to see you this morning. What's the temperature down there in South Texas? About 78 degrees. Uh, here in Oklahoma, it's about 56. Wind's blowing at about 40 mile an hour. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got some wind here, too. It is rather windy outside some kind of a front or something coming through. Got to lower my camera a little bit. Feels like I'm looking up at the ceiling at you guys. I don't know. <laughs> but it is a great day. Went for a ride with my mother this morning in her 1999 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Uh, it is a manual transmission, so it was a lot of fun shifting, running through the gears and stuff. I do miss having a manual transmission, but I have to say, I don't miss it enough to get a manual uh, Tacoma, only because my experience with it uh, in the beginning was pretty not so good. So, Michael Cocosa, good morning, Rob. Just got done having a snowstorm yesterday. Snowstorm? Where are you located? I don't miss snowstorms. You know, I used to live in Ohio, uh, the Columbus area, so the weather was not, you know, real bad. It's not living like living in Upper Michigan or something, but we still did get snow and it was kind of a drag. So I don't miss that uh, at all. You can keep that snowy, crappy weather wherever you're at. Robert Hannaford, are you in the path of total darkness for the eclipse? No, not quite. We're uh, a bit south of that, um, but I imagine we'll have a pretty good effect of it here. I don't know. Uh, probably about eh, maybe a couple hours or so to the east. I guess I said south to the east, I guess, of where total darkness will be. Can't wait to see what it's like. Uh, John Cagliano. Hey, Rob. Hope all is. Uh oh, you jump. Hope all is well. Sunny and cold in New Jersey today. Yeah, I've been watching uh, a channel. Uh, it's TikTok, actually. I've been watching a guy that has a uh, car dealership. Uh, they buy like exotics and stuff as well as other things. And he's on TikTok now. And uh, pretty interesting to see the weather differences, let me tell you. John, hey, Rob, hope all is well. I just read that. Walter, hey, Rob, how's it going? I think I saw a red truck in your garage. No, that, that's not a red truck. Well, it was red, but it's not a truck. It's not mine either. Um, I wish, I wish I was at that point so far. But we're going to talk about uh, the new Tacoma that's coming. It's going to be coming. Uh, maybe. I, I hope so. I think so. Um, been driving the new Tacomas, of course. I drove, I think, the first one uh, down here in the valley, or at least pretty close. Probably wasn't the first one, but uh, pretty close to that. And I know it was the first one on YouTube, I think, from down here in the valley. I live in the Rio Grande, or Rio Grande Valley, in South Texas. So, Took us a while to get any down here, but I did drive that silver one. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's on the channel. Um, 
I loved it. It was pretty awesome, I must admit. Uh, after digesting it for a while, you know, and then going back to my third gen, eh, you know, it's like that 2024 Tacoma really is uh, a better, I think, in, in uh, man, in every way except for one. I bet you can guess what that is, right? Pricing. No, it's not the four-cylinder turbo. I was uh, very uh, happy about that in the way that the truck accelerated, the way that it had power once I was already going at speed. I was very happy with it. The handling, the comfort, I've talked about all this stuff. I would say that the, the fourth gen Tacoma is superior to the third gen, and, and the third gen is great, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love the third gen. That's why I had numerous copies of it, or different trim levels, I guess. Awesome truck, but the fourth gen Tacoma, wow. It is, uh, it is a definite improvement, in my opinion, over the, the third gen. Again, nothing wrong with the third gen, and you know, if you've got an aversion to the four-cylinder turbo, maybe you probably ought to go ahead and, and stick with the third gen. Uh, and leave the fourth gen out there for people like me who want the fourth gen, right? Uh, by the way, if you're just coming on and you haven't before, smash that subscribe button. Helps out the channel. Show me a little bit of love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would appreciate it. And also, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Let's me know you're at least interested. Uh, so, what's going on? Um, Still trying to, to work the deal, of course. Um, we want uh, the fourth gen. We are going to have the fourth gen. I've been looking at some things. You know, I, one of the things that I'm going to do with the fourth gen is put the sport bar on it. Um, so I measured uh, once I had it off of the other truck, and there is, it is off of the other truck. I'm sure you've seen it probably in some videos and stuff. But I wasn't sure, because you know the bed is different on the fourth gen, it's, it's actually deeper. Now, that doesn't make any difference in width, right? Or does it? Uh, I don't know. I measured the, uh, the sport bar and from the information I've seen, I should have taken a tape measure with me to the dealership, right? Measured the interior dimension. But it seems to me that the way the sport bar is set right now, it's about, uh, about an inch and a half uh, on each side, so three inches further in. So I would have to move it out a little bit. And there is some adjustment that you can do with that sport bar, we shall see. Elizardo says, what's up Rob? Hi from cold North Jersey. <clears throat> Another Jersey boy here, uh, 36 degrees, yeah. The dude George from TikTok, is cool buying and selling exotic cars like selling the Cybertruck uh, over 200K. People are nuts. You are right. And that's the guy. His name is George. I believe he's Middle Eastern. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's him and his brother that own this, this business. Um, but it's pretty cool and uh, very interesting to watch, you know, their dealings with the public and stuff. They have... Um, all of it, not all, but some of the deals when people bring things in. I was watching this morning. I think it was a, I don't know, a Range Rover or something somebody brought in. I don't know. I, I saw a few different ones. I can't remember any of the makes right now. Time for a little sip of the green nectar. You know, this stuff, is it really that bad for you? I don't know. People keep giving me grief uh, for drinking the green nectar and how it's so horrible. Not sponsored, by the way, uh, but I do, I do love it. That and sweet tea, Gold Peak sweet tea and Mountain Dew, those are my two favorites. I know, probably the two least uh, healthy things you can drink, right? Uh, <clears throat> Juan Fernandez, are you trading in your truck? I will be trading in the uh, electric lime. Uh, it will be gone. Uh, Hugh Jess, I'm here with my brother, uh, oh, another comedian we have on the channel. It's amateur hour on the Rob Motive live stream. Uh, very funny, I guess. I don't know, maybe if you're 10, I mean, that's kind of old, you know. It's like, uh, I'm not going to say it. But anyway, Jonathan Ratliff. No, wait a minute, I skipped baseball geek. 
Baseball Gi. Can someone confirm if the TRD uh, off-road has start-stop? I haven't seen the button in the off-road. Uh, as far as I know, every new trim level of the 2024 Tacoma has stop-start, auto-stop. Um, it is the scourge of the earth. I can't stand it. I don't like it, but for some reason, every manufacturer now has to put it in. I'm sure it's a government thing. Um, without any way to permanently disable it. I mean, I don't know why they don't give that to us. It's, they treat us like we're three years old, right? They throw it in and then you have to have it. You can't get rid of it. So you got to put it in, you know, or you got to leave it on. Now you can turn it off every freaking time you restart the truck, which sucks. Uh, but at least I don't believe Toyota has done any auxiliary battery thing like Jeep has done that can fail, suck the energy from the main battery and leave you stranded somewhere. So, but I believe they do. I, I'm not positive of that, <coughs> excuse me, but I believe they do. Um, let's see, Jonathan Ratliff, did GM get as much flack for going all turbo four bangers in Colorado and Canyon as Toyota got for the new taco? No, and it's, well, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not a, a Chevy uh, guy. So I don't follow Chevy too much, but I never have heard much about it. Although I'm sure the Chevy guys are the same. But the Tacoma Toyota audience is so uh, dedicated and so particular as to what we have that uh, I think that's the reason you see a little bit more complaining or, I don't know, hatred for the four-cylinder. I don't know. By the way, got to remind you guys again, I'm going to keep doing this. Smash that subscribe button if you're just kicking in. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Hugh says, appreciated homie. Um, let's see. Walter. Wow, Hugh. Yeah, I know, right? I think I heard that joke when I was like eight, maybe. And, it, you know, it was, it was hilariously funny for an eight-year-old. But I'm not eight years old. And I'm assuming everybody on here is over 18 at least, except maybe Hugh. I, I don't know. Uh, Daryl Watts, hey Rob, is there any way that I can buy those seat jackers from you before you get rid of your lime green taco uh, on the one that's got the same color but mine, let's see, wait a minute, um, on the one that's got, must be, I'm the one that's got the same color but mine's the TRD Sport with the hood scoop. Um, I won't be taking those off probably, so probably not, and honestly, if I was to sell them, it would only be local, I wouldn't ship them. And by the time you pay for shipping and my price, you're probably better off to uh, either find them used somewhere else or uh, buy them new. It's just not worth it to me. Um, shipping things is not a good business. I'll give you an example. Let's say that I sold them to you for, I don't know, whatever, they're, a few bucks less than cost because they're just a hunk of metal, right? So don't think I'm going to give you a huge deal. Um, and then I ship them, and I'm not saying this is you but I ship them to some uh, not so honest person out there and they say they never got them. So they want a refund, you know? So now well, I'm stuck in a dilemma. Did they get them? Didn't they get them? Maybe somebody stole them off their porch, but they're coming back to me for a refund. So now I don't have the parts and I got to refund the money because you know, I'd have to. <clears throat> so I'm out a couple hundred bucks or 150 bucks, whatever they cost, I don't remember. Um, and I'm not, I'm not a parts supplier, so it's not like I can claim them on my business insurance or something. So I'm just out. That's why I don't do that. If I sell something to somebody, it's going to be face-to-face -face where I hand them to them. I know they got them. I know it's in good shape. And then I'm done. I'm out, right? Not saying you're a dishonest person, but you know they're out there, right? And I'm not willing to take the risk, bottom line. Um, plus, I'm just not willing to take them off, honestly. They're a pretty small, puny part for me, and uh, I don't know. It's just not worth it. Uh, let's see. Hugh says, I got a four-banger in my Silverado, and it's a little hog of a motor. Toes great. Is it a turbo, or is it a, a straight four? I'd be curious to know. Uh, baseball geek, Rob, you still thing. You still thing second. Rob. Baseball geek. I don't know what you're trying to say. Um, I'm going to blame it on autocorrect, but I don't know what that means. Uh, Hugh says he's got a turbo. Okay. 
A lot of people hate the turbo. They don't like the idea of the turbo. They despise that they're afraid of the turbo. <sighs> you know, I don't know. And, you know, I love, I get a lot of comments on the channel, people hating on the, the fourth gen Tacoma. And then I ask, have you driven it? Have you sat in it? Have you even freaking seen one in person? No, no, I haven't. And it's like, well, then what the hell are you basing your opinion on? I mean, you know, half of the comments that you see on forums and things are probably people that have an interest in other brands like Ford and Chevy and Nissan. And of course, they're going to dog all of the Toyota stuff because they want you to buy their product, right? And you know, these days, think about it. You know, if I was that kind of a person in, in the business, I might hire a marketing business off to the side somewhere uh, where I pay them to mass uh, downplay or dog uh, the competitor's products to try to get the public, you and me, to think that there's something wrong with it. I mean, think how easy that would be these days. I mean, you could post with AI uh, multiple <coughs> excuse me, sites and things like that where you can make it look like there really is a problem when in essence there is nothing wrong. So, you know, it always cracks me up when people say they, they have never even touched one, but yet they're so against them. Based on what? I, I don't know. You see, I, I give my impressions on things based upon my experience, right? I don't just read an article and go, well, Fred, who I don't know, and I don't know what his interests are, tell me that it's freaking bad and I shouldn't buy it. Well, last I checked, Fred isn't helping me buy anything. So they have no interest as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, baseball geek, sorry, typo. Are you still thinking about two wheel drive instead of four? Uh, yeah, I am. I don't need a four wheel drive. You know, I don't have to prove that my truck is bigger and badder than anybody else's. You know, I could care less because, again, those people, they're not sending me any checks to buy these trucks. However, if a four-wheel drive came up for the right price, you know, I'm not going to turn it down. I mean, I don't really care either way. I don't need a four-wheel drive, but I don't not need a four-wheel drive. So it's all about the deal in the end. I mean, maybe I'll get enough more on a four-wheel drive on my truck to offset the difference in price. You know, it's what, four or five grand? Uh, you know, and by the time you get the package that comes with the four-wheel drive, you're paying a hell of a lot more money to get something you don't need. I don't know. So it just, it depends. But yes, I'm leaning that way. Cadillac fan, what's your favorite American, what's your favorite classic American car? Uh, Chevy Chevelle, baby. I love the Chevy Chevelle, Corvettes, Camaros, Firebirds, Oldsmobiles. I mean, I love all of those, but my all-time favorite, oh, and the Mustang. Oh, the old Mustangs. Um, man, it's probably a toss-up. A good, condi an excellent condition old Mustang, just a normal Mustang, would be awesome. I had a friend in high school who had one. White interior seats. It had been restored. It was perfect. Convertible. Love that car. He beat the crap out of it because that's what happens when you give a kid in high school a really nice car like that. Matter of fact, I think he even ended up totaling it later on. Uh, but it was an awesome car. Uh, Chevy Chevelle and, and Ford Mustang, I guess. Uh, let's see. Hugh says, turbo four bangers are pretty cool. Uh, built like a mini diesel, but much cheaper. Um, there you go. There is someone who is actually pushing the four-cylinder turbo. By the way, if you're just getting off, we got over 100 bodies on here now. Smash that subscribe button. Helps out the channel, helps me, doesn't cost you a dime. And don't forget, thumbs up, they help too. I appreciate it. Show me some love. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um... Where am I? Four banger, let's see. Kayla wants me to say hi. Can you please say hi, Kayla? Hi, Kayla, how you doing? Um, Rob West, hello from Pennsylvania, bro. Pennsylvania, been through there a few times. Never spent a lot of time in PA. Uh, Walter, I'm at, I've actually driven turbo four, I actually drove turbo four car and it's better than the V6. Uh, weighs less and more power. Yeah, for me, it's about the power. I want the power. Um, 
it's just, it just makes such a big difference. And again, the, the fourth gen Tacoma is so much, it's just better. It's better in every way. I think than the uh, than the third gen, and that's that's saying a lot because the third gen is pretty darn good itself, right? Uh, Walter says I was impressed. There you go. That's not coming from me. That's coming from Walter. Uh, Jonathan Turbo's been around a long time. There was turbo. There was a turbo Toyota four banger truck twenty five years ago. Tech and reliability have, uh, let's see, tech and reliability have evolved over the years like hybrids were poo-pooed years ago as being unreliable. Not so. That's the thing, man. I mean, think about it. If you're a, a manufacturer who builds uh, naturally aspirated six cylinders, you probably don't want to see a four cylinder turbo, right? I mean, not only are the manufacturers potentially spreading um, rumors about the new Toyota, but think about the people that are all involved in six-cylinder motors, engines, like motors are electric, engines. They have a vested interest too, so <clears throat> you could have some big engine builders or parts suppliers involved in the spread of false information, if you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, let's see, uh, Nick K, good morning, Rob. One thing I would like for the Tacoma to have grab handles on the driver's side and back pillars like other trucks. GM, Forge, Dodge, and others will. Um, yeah, the one that I looked at, the two that I've looked at, did not have a driver's side grab handle for the driver. That would be a driver's side grab handle. Uh, but they did have a grab handle on the passenger side as well as in the rear. So they've almost gotten there, but I think Toyota's a bit skittish because of a supposed accident that injured somebody like back in the 1900s. It's been a long time. Uh, FRB, a turbo four-cylinder truck should be illegal. Horse whipping a pony do, <laughs> to do a mule's work is cruel. Uh, nice take on it. Uh, I disagree with you, um, but there still are, of course, used or older six-cylinder Tacomas, and you can buy, what, the Frontier, I guess. Uh, it won't be long before they go to a four-cylinder as well, though. So if, you're go if you really got to have one, you better grab one fairly quickly, I think. Chad Cronauts, Chad Cronauts, channel member, by the way. And speaking of that, we have some new channel members on here. I think Bob Jones, I think, just joined. And... There is another person that escapes my mind right now. But if he's on here, anybody you, you may notice that shows up with a highlighted color like Chad, his name is in green, means he's a channel member. And thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. Good morning, Rob. How are you? I am well. How are you? Uh, DR says, hello from North Korea. Wow, you are a bit of a ways away from me. How is the weather in North Korea? And what time is it there right now? Uh, Tommy Miller, good morning, Rob. What color are you wanting? Well, you know, when I first started out, I was wanting solar octane. But I went and drove the silver Tacoma, and I didn't like it. It was silver. Silver's not my thing. If you like silver, no offense, it's not my thing. Uh, but then I drove a second one, and it was the uh, red color, whatever, blazing red, sonic red, supersonic red, I, whatever it's called. That looked really good on the sport version, which, by the way, is what I'm going to be getting. It will be the, the TRD Sport is what I'm looking for. Um, so in order, it will be red, orange, solar octane, uh, blue crush, blue, or underground if I absolutely have to. Um, those are my preferences. So I'm not limiting myself to just one. That's four, right? Um, Al Bezaski. Bezas Bezaski? Uh, sorry if I got it wrong. I made an effort. Uh, Toyota builds darn near bulletproof four-cylinder engines and should be able to bring, should be able to hold up to the additional stress that a turbo puts on the engine. And yeah, don't think this is a new engine. It's not. This engine's been around for, I think, a couple of years. I think it's in the Lexus. Um, so it's not a new engine. A lot of people think that. I think they think that Toyota recreated the world. They made this brand new Turbo 4, and, and, and now we're going to test it. 
not not the case. By the way, time to remind you guys, if you're just clicking in, smash that subscribe button. Smash it hard if you would. I would appreciate it. And don't forget a thumbs up. That would be nice too. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, let's see. Mark Arojo, Arujo, Arahao. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, but Mark says, I would put a turbo or supercharger in a V8. Why not? Well, that would be nice. I mean, why not? You're right. Except for it costs you more than you'd probably be willing to pay. And uh, <clears throat> the government probably would never allow it. Um, Cadillac fan. I love all of Chevrolet, GMC, Ram, Toyota, and Nissan. Yeah, I, lo I love them all, too. I mean, there's really, you know, there's really no brand out there that I would sit here and tell you I, I hate or I dislike. I mean, I'm a, I'm a car and truck guy. If I see something I like, I mean, I've bought Hyundais um, because I like the, the vehicle that's out there. So I'm not uh, discriminating when it comes to particular makes or brands. I just have to like uh, what they're selling, if you know what I'm saying. Um, let's see. Robert Hannaford, the hand grip on the driver's side is the steering wheel. Yeah, I always have a problem with that, though. You know, every time you put your weight on that and pull it, you're putting stress on those parts. Sooner or later, after years and years, it's going to cause a problem. I just don't feel good about doing that particularly when the steering wheel is a pretty important part of the driving experience, right? Um, so I don't like that. I don't like having to, to grab that, although you're probably right. Um, it's your boy. It's your boy. Uh, bro, do you want 5,000? Um, everybody wants 5,000, but it depends on what you're talking about. 5,000 unicorns, 5,000 fake dollars. Let me guess. You'll transfer me 5,000 or 10,000 or 100,000 and then I'll send it back to you and I can keep 5,000 for my trouble. Is that your angle? Come on, man. You think I was born yesterday? I wasn't. Look at me. I wasn't born yesterday. Come on. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Uh, Jonathan says, uh, key with turbo engines is to be religious with quality synthetic oil changes. Yeah, I've been hearing that a lot. I'm going to have to remember that once I get one that I need to take care of it with synthetic oil frequently. Chad says, I'm doing well, thanks. Good to hear, Chad. What's the weather like in your area? Walter, very true, Al. They have brilliant engineers. You would think they have the best or at least some of the best. I mean, you know. Um, let's see. Tyler Taylor, rather, Sanders. What up and how do I sub? Click the subscribe button. Don't forget to do that, by the way. Just click the subscribe button. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. Uh, Wayne Scott. It's like a WRX Tacoma. Yikes. What? Why do you say that? WRX? I kind of like those. I've driven a couple. Ah, they're pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Jonathan Ratliff, I read the hybrid taco will have nearly 500 pounds of torque. Wow. Oh, I know. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. You see, whatever I get is going to be a, a stepping stone uh, to the hybrid because ultimately I want the hybrid. Depends on price, though. I mean, I'm not paying. I've, I've talked about this on the channel a lot. I'm not paying 70, 60, maybe 50, but that'd be tough. Uh, grand for a Toyota Tacoma. I'm just not. I could go out and get a hell of a nice used Porsche or something for that kind of money. So if I'm going to spend that kind of money, it's not going to be on a Tacoma. I think they will, if they haven't already, price themselves out of the market. So that's that's not going to happen. Chuck McDonough. Thank you, Chuck. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, Jay says, BMW laughing my arse off. What's wrong with the BMW other than... They don't seem to have very good quality anymore. But uh, Chad says, I hear the hybrid Tacoma is going to be very pricey. I keep hearing that. And I got to say, given what we've seen for pricing on the four-cylinder turbo, 
Yeah, I'm expecting the hybrids to be somewhere in the, man, 60 to 70,000, dollars $68,000 price tag, something like that. It could be more. I'm just shot in the dark guess. I don't really know, but man, I bet you're right. Uh, Walter is laughing like a madman. Can't even hardly stand it. Uh, Cadillac fan. I just like Ford. I have had three F-150s each of different generations, and they crapped out in a couple months. Yeah, I've had uh, a couple of F-150s in the not too distant past, and they weren't uh, they weren't real great either. So, but I don't. I mean, I like the Mustang. There's some other Ford stuff out there that I've liked. So I'm not gonna say I, I dislike them. I just don't have a lot of faith in their reliability, you know. Uh, it's Kenzie. Kenzie, how you doing? Uh, today is my birthday. Well, Kenzie, happy birthday. <coughs> how old are you? Yes, I'm asking. Uh, Binky says, uh, W Jeep Grill. What? I don't know what that means. Chad Cranott says, in Georgia, very windy and cold. Yeah, I think didn't we have a front or I think we have a front of some kind going some kind going through here now. That's why it's windy outside. I don't know. You guys can probably hear the wind. I don't know, but it's sunny. Uh, let's see. Aya Mogul, we look alike. Well, you must be a very good-looking person. That's all I can say. Baseball geek, sixty degrees in West Virginia, Virginia. Sixty's um, not too bad, is it? This time of year in West Virginia. Uh, Nevazat's, uh, up to something. Bro looks like, uh, from T. Uh, well, thank you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, let's see. A, uh, Ayab Moghul. Uh, there's a spider on your shirt. There very well could be. Very well could be. Uh, JMA1. Are you an engineer? I am not an engineer. Uh, technically, I have a degree in business administration with enough credits to be a PhD in everything. Uh, but I have a degree, four-year degree in business admin. That was the quickest way I could get the hell out of there. After going to school for like 12 years or something and getting nowhere, I had enough. Um, let's see, W is like, I like the Jeep grill you got hanging up. Oh, well, there you go. I've got more than one up there. If you take a look, there's, uh, there's a couple more. It's kind of a, a grill uh, graveyard up there. See, because I like to replace the grills, so when I have in the past, they go on the wall. And I actually have reused a couple, so it's not a bad idea to, to keep them for a while, I think. Uh, Cadillac fan. I can beat on my Gen 1 uh, cat excuse me, cat eyes. You must mean Cadillac. I don't know what you mean. Uh, Gen 2 Silverados, Gen 3 Silverado, Silverados, uh, Silverados. They take it with little trouble. That's good. It sounds like you have found the mecca of, uh, of vehicles for yourself. Uh, let's see. Barack says, uh, I doubt this is really Barack Obama because he probably wouldn't ask a question like that. I don't know. Uh, but it's irrelevant to the topic and the channel. Uh, let's see. Joseph Jones says, I just stopped by to say hi and bye to you in the chat. Joseph, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for stopping in. Uh, Hugh says, uh, heavy duty diesel engines, Cummins Cat Detroit, have been using the turbo setup for decades. Yes, turbo diesels and semis are not uncommon. Absolutely indestructible engines. It's cool to see the technology being applied to modern gas engines. Well, a lot of people would disagree with you. They don't like it. They're afraid of the Turbo 4. Me? I'm not afraid, man. Uh, Jonathan Ratliff, figure a $3,000 ad to MSRP for the hybrid. I don't know. Uh, I hope it's no more than that. I mean, if you could take a, say, $44,000 TRD Sport, turn it into a hybrid, and add $3,000, you'd be talking about forty-seven, dollars maybe $48,000. That would be more palatable, but I don't, I don't, I hope you're right. I don't know, man. Uh, Jonathan, the president is in the house. Yeah, I doubt that very much, but you know, hey, why not? We are, we're open to even ex-presidents. Uh, Heidi Williams, hey Rob, please give me a shout out. A shout out for what? Why would you ask me for that? I'm curious. Why would I shout you out? What do you hope to gain? And I think I just did. 
Uh, Walter, hey, nice business and administ hey, nice business and admin. I'm actually majoring in mechanical engineering right now. You are a smarter individual than am I. All of the math involved in that, ugh. I mean, I didn't do horribly in math in like grade school, uh, but once we got into higher level algebra, uh, algebra two, I think calculus. I had all of that, and that was all I needed. I didn't need any more. It got to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm taking these classes, and even as a kid in high school, I'm sitting there thinking, in college, I'm sitting there thinking, why am I studying this? I don't need this. Uh, ugh. But kudos to you. You know, we need mechanical engineers. Uh, Binky, that's pretty sick. I have a 2013 Wrangler Unlimited Sport, but I want a 392 eventually. I'm only 17, so uh, that's going to be a while. You've got the rest of your life, man. 17? God. Uh, Kaizen Eli, what's your favorite color? Blue. I'm a blue guy. I like blue, particularly that voodoo blue. With, uh, there's a tie, actually. I say voodoo blue, but... Cherry black is awesome. If I could have a cherry black uh, vehicle, I, I don't think it would matter what the vehicle was. You know, a Volkswagen uh, Beetle might be okay because I love that color. Um, Nez, Nevzat Uktu. That's what I'm going with. I apologize if I screwed it up. Uh, is it better to delete the DPF from the diesel engine? Um, always people having issues with it on. I am not familiar enough to even know what you are talking about with diesel engines. Uh, let's see. Alaya Sky, Alaya 353. Um, because your mom, again, you know, it's not that kind of channel, bro. Uh, Steve, I love eating plastic. Well, I, I would imagine that's not good for you, but you be you, buddy. Uh, Cadillac fan, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the cat eye is the nickname for the generation one Silverado because of the grill. See, I'm not a Chevy guy, man. I, I did not know that. First I've heard that. Um, Steve, he's, I guess he's speechless now. Too much plastic in his diet. It'll do that to you. Uh, Jonathan uh, Ratliff, most Toyotas are just 15 to $2,000, uh, are just 15 to $2,000 bump for hybrid. Never has been more than 3K ad for hybrid. And that was some years ago. I hope you're right. I really do, because that would put the hybrid, uh, in my experience, for what I think I can get the Tacoma for at about six forty six forty seven thousand dollars $47,000, and that's certainly doable. Uh, or, I shouldn't say doable, acceptable, um, for what I would spend on a Tacoma. You know, there is a limit. I mean, you know, how much are you really going to freaking spend, you know? I'm not going to spend 60, 70, 70 grand for a Tacoma, 80, let, that's out of the question. Um, let's see. Heidi says, what is your favorite football team? Um, oh, I don't know. Probably, uh, uh, I, I don't really have one, really. Uh, I'm kind of a bandwagon guy. So whoever's doing good, I just jump on that bandwagon and I, I go with them, you know. Uh, Wayne Scott says, the Tundra Hybrid, for example, doesn't really make sense. A few miles per gallon better for just less space and higher insurance. Yeah, the poor Tundra. It's been taking a beating lately, man. I mean, there were 75 of them on the lot last I looked at my dealer here. Um, they're just not moving, and I think it's because they're having problems with them. By the way, we got 110 people on here, and if you haven't yet, I am disappointed. Subscribe. Click that subscribe button if you would. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up while you're in here too. It helps me out. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Uh, Nevzat Uktu uh, uh, says, nah, bro, you're fine. Always got it right. Oh, well, pat on my back for that, right? Uh, Scott, Rob, if a loaded TRD off-road is 54K, I would think the TRD Pro would be 58 to 62 range. Um, yeah, I imagine you're probably right. That, that sounds like about the range. Walter, you like eating plastic what? Not me. Not me. That was some other cat. I don't know. Looking for attention. I don't know. Maybe that's why he's eating plastic. He's trying to get people to say to see it. I don't know. 
Uh, Al says, Rob, you're a man after my own heart. Mine is a 2021 TRD Sport Voodoo Blue. Best color for the Toyota Tacoma by far. That Voodoo Blue is, uh, is striking, I got to say. Uh, UFC casual. Do you watch UFC? I do not. I do not watch UFC. Um, although I have nothing against it. It's very brutal, though. You know, I find as I get older, um, the brutality of some of this stuff is, uh, is unsettling. I don't know what it is. Uh, Craig Dewar, just landed on your live while you were mentioning Voodoo Blue, my favorite. Any idea of something comparable is coming back? Colors are always cyclical. I mean, there will be another Voodoo Blue eventually. Uh, I don't, nothing right now, obviously. I mean, Toyota's more fixated, it seems, on silver, black, white, gray, but we do have solar octane blue and red, and that new color, which I cannot think of now in the uh, Trail Hunter. What's the new color? Somebody tell me, so I'll feel like I, uh, I accomplished something. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Nicole. Nicole, do you like the brand Nissan? I have nothing against Nissan. Uh, Al Rice Nomac. All Rice Nomac. Uh, you should see the markups on Toyotas here in Hawaii. Wild prices. Oh, it's like that everywhere. It just depends on uh, the dealership. I keep looking outside because I have this snake concern. We have a lot of snakes down here. And I'm going to tell you a story what happened to me last night. Uh, but we have a lot of snakes down here and they like to come in and say hi. Unfortunately, I do not like them. I would eradicate them. So, you want to hear something funky? What happened to me last night? I'm sleeping. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I feel something crawl across my shoulder. Feel or my arm. Go right down here. I feel like, a, you know, when a bug runs across you or something, I freak out. I'm like, holy stuff. So, I jump out of bed. My wife, she's sound asleep, you know. Throw the covers back. I'm looking all over the bed for whatever because we have a lot down here in South Texas. I mean, we have cockroaches, disgusting. Um, geckos, we have uh, uh, lizards of all kinds, uh, snakes, uh, uh, spiders, you know, you name it, we've got it. And they get in the house because they're bugs. Didn't find anything, couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been up since five o'clock this morning uh, because of, uh, I swear to God, something crawled across my shoulder. I don't know what it was, but it was it was not good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Heidi Williams says, do you like Taylor Swift? I don't not like Taylor Swift. Uh, I can't say that I seek out her music, but um, I don't turn it off either. So, yeah, I guess I like Taylor Swift. I'm more of a, of a headbanger, you know, heavy metal, uh, Metallica, uh, ACDC, I uh, was a big KISS fan when I was much younger, um, you know, the, the heavier, Disturbed, Godsmack, I mean, that kind of, that's my kind of music, you know, as well as 80s stuff, I mean, I like the 80s stuff too, so, and rap, I have a broad range. Uh, Hugh says, DPF systems have definitely been a hindrance in regard to the power Production in these modern diesel engines, although the cost to delete the DPF system far outweighs any power gained from a delete, um, that I would suggest you not delete it because that wouldn't make sense, right? Uh, Aaron Cawley, uh, what you do, a mechanic, I take it. I am not a mechanic. Um, I am a, uh, I'm a garage, I guess I'm a garage mechanic. There's nothing really that I wouldn't uh, take a swipe at. Um, except for major things or things I don't have the tools for. I mean, I wouldn't rip an engine apart because I have no idea how to do it, nor do I have the equipment to do it. I wouldn't put a lift on a truck because I don't have the knowledge or equipment to do that. Uh, but pretty much anything else, um, I'm not afraid to do. I'm not a mechanic. By Technically, uh, my degree is business administration. That's my degree. 20... <clears throat> 20 uh, three years as a purchasing manager for everything you can think of in the power generation repair business. Uh, that's what I did. So 
uh, until I started doing this full time. Uh, Cadillac fan, when I, when I was saying the brands I mentioned, I forgot to list Jeep. I love the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. I like Jeeps as well, man. Jonathan, Toyota has been known to reduce MSRP in past if MSRP is hindering sales. Like in 1996, Supra was reduced $9,000. Uh, did they actually reduce it or offer a rebate or money off? I don't know if I've ever seen a manufacturer actually reduce the MSRP. They give you incentives. They give you uh, rebates and things. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually lower the price. Um, that'd be awesome. I mean, you know. Walter, you're a lucky guy, uh, Al. Uh, such a beautiful color, in my opinion. That's for sure. Absolutely. Heidi Williams, do you like Tesla? I have nothing against Tesla. Um, I think they're fine. Jonathan, Taylor Swift, laughing my arse off. There's nothing wrong with Taylor. She is brilliant in what she's done. Uh, hard to knock Taylor for where she is. She's a billionaire now, right? She's doing something right. I, I don't know if I'd laugh my arse off at her. Uh, Cadillac fan, I love the 2023 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro 4x4 in cherry red. That's a great color. Uh, I, got a I got to test drive one and loved it. Are you going to buy one? Are you in the market? Uh, Chad Kernatz, Toyota should have kept the V8 as an option. Uh, then they would have seen the V8 sells better than the V6 engine. Um, I don't think they had a choice. You know, manufacturers don't change things uh, because they want to. It's not cost effective. It's not cost efficient. You know, retooling, re-engineering, all of that stuff, public hatred doesn't make a lot of sense. They do it because they have to do it or you and I aren't buying it. That's why they do it. Otherwise, they'd make the same product forever as long as they kept their profit margins and people wanted them, right? Uh, Walter, the Trail Hunter is also nice. Yeah, I like that. I thought at first I would get that one, but... Uh, all Rice, Lunar Gray. That's not the color, but uh, I, I, that color's grown on me. It was not a favorite of mine uh, early on, but it has grown on me recently. Uh, Mike Machado, Machado. I'm going with Machado, I think. Uh, bronze Oxide. Logan Peacock says Bronze Octane. Uh, it's Bronze Oxide, I think. I think that's what it's called. Scott says, Scott from PA, just subscribe to your channel. Keep up the good work. Scott, I appreciate that. And since Scott mentioned it, if you're just clicking in, click that subscribe button. What are you going to find on this channel? Well, shit, or shoot. You're going to find me, of course. And if that's not enough, you're going to find all kinds of Toyota Tacoma mods and information and opinions and news. I mean, I don't know why you'd ever go to any other Tacoma channel unless she's better looking than I am, you know? I always, no, I'm not going to get into any of that. I'll get slammed if I do that. Forget about it. Uh, but anyway, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. <clears throat> um, let's see, Scott or Chip Broadhead. Gee, scruffy old man, get a haircut. Um... I don't know what you're talking about. Are you looking in a mirror? Is that what you're looking at? I don't know, bud. Uh, Michael, uh, if you could work on any car, which uh, on any car, which one would? Well, the Toyota Tacoma. I mean, come on, man. All right, looking around, snake check. You'll see me scream and run like a girl if the snake gets too close, particularly those really colorful ones, you know, that can, like, kill you. We have those here, too. Ugh. Um, Toyota Tacomas, uh, Michael says, it be, it be, uh, Al, I like snakes, especially Cobras, I like the 427 Shelby, well, depends on what kind of snake you're referring to, I'm talking about the kind that slither on the ground and chase you, they don't really chase you, you know, the good thing about snakes is they actually will run away from you because you're bigger and not prey for them, you know, um, Eli says, I'm a landscaper and have raked a large copper head viper onto my foot. They're not super aggressive, and it was and it was as freaked out as I was, I bet. I'd probably just have a heart attack on the spot. Uh, we've had them in the house, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have actually called other people to take them out because I don't like them. 
They scare the living daylights out of me. I, I admit it. I can admit that. Who cares? Uh, let's see. Uh, Heidi says, do you have a favorite dog breed? Heidi, are you just trying to get to know me really well or what? I mean, I appreciate it. Uh, dachshunds. I love dachshunds. We lost our dachshund about a few months ago. Saddest day in the world. Um, love dachshunds. Uh, hope to have another one uh, someday. Just have to convince my wife. Um, Cadillac fan says, I prefer lowered slammed or bag trucks. A lot of people do. It's not my thing. I don't dislike them, but it's, it's not really my thing. Uh, Walter, would you ever get a Supra, Rob? I like the design and it looks really cool in my opinion. No, no way. I've sat in the Supra. They are low, they are tight. You can't see anything. They're too small for me. Uh, I, don't, I like them. I mean, I like the looks of them. They look awesome, but no way. Um, Dave Arnon, Arnon, Dave Arnon. Arnoni or none? I'm going with our none. Our one or none? Our none. Hey Rob, I do miss the days when you had your Voodoo Blue. I still have the 2020 20, or 20 TRD off road Voodoo Blue, but I plan on getting the new Pro not right away, but within a year. Yeah, that Voodoo Blue, man, it is just such a stunning truck, you know? Jonathan, MSRP reduced, no rebates. Tesla has done this several times recently. Well, Tesla's kind of a, an anomaly. You know, Tesla is very interesting in their philosophies and what they do. So, yeah, I guess I could see that in Tesla. Dante Fernandez. I love saying that. Dante Fernandez. <clears throat> uh, you're the best. Well, Dante, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, Heidi Williams says, I love your videos. Heidi, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Walter says, sneaky snakes. Um, I cannot stand snakes. I mean, they are, they're the worst, I think, critter out there for me. And I've been around, like I said, we've got everything here. Uh, cockroaches, which I don't like either. They're disgusting, but unfortunately they're a fact of life if you live in South Texas. Um, there's a big fly just came in here like a horse fly or something. Uh, but anyway, cannot stand them. And I know there's people that love snakes. There's somebody I've watched on Tiki Talk um, uh, that has snakes. She always has some big snake on her and stuff. And oh my God, um, not me, not me. Jonathan uh, says, sorry for your loss. Thank you, Jonathan. It was a horrible day. Jonathan says, scorpions there too, Rob? Yes. Uh, we have scorpions. I've never seen one. But I guess, and we don't have a lot of grass. We have a lot of plants, but not a lot of grass. Um, I guess if you go out at night uh, and you're in the right environment for them here, you can see their eyes uh, looking back at you. And there's lots of them in the grass. Um, how freaky would that be? Could you imagine running across the grass and there's like a million scorpions out there or something? Ugh, that, that might be worse than snakes, but we don't have them. Uh, not Amina. Hi, Daddy. Is it now? See, now that kind of comment, we just have to remove because it's so juvenile. Again, I think some people think that they're, it's, it's got to be kids, that they're recreating um, humor. Like someone like me has never, never been exposed to that kind of thing before. You are wrong. You're wrong. Uh, Joe Pearson, what advantage of cold north? No bugs. Yes. I mean, here in South Texas, we have had a couple of freezes since I've lived here, uh, which helps. But generally, they just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And pretty soon, you're eating dinner with a cockroach sitting in the chair next to you, looking at you eye to eye. That's how freaking big they get here in South Texas. Everything is bigger in South Texas, let me tell you. Um, cow and chicken. Why is there so many grills for cars? Um, I guess because different manufacturers like to do different things. I don't know. Same like colors or styles or trim levels. Uh, Cadillac fan. I have a miniature dachshund named Daisy who is seven currently. Aw, oh, awesome. That's what I want next. I want a miniature, if I can find one, <clears throat> uh, female and short-haired. We had, I think, a normal standard size male with long hair. 
Uh, great dog, by the way. Very needy, though. Didn't like to see you leave. He wanted to be with you all the time, which is what you should want in a dog, right? I mean, you want a dog that wants to be with you, right? I mean, I don't think anybody goes and gets a pet that they want to be ignored by. <laughs> it wouldn't make a lot of sense, would it? Um, good for you. That's awesome. Arts, Crafts, Girl, Paola. Um, hi. What you talking about? We're talking about whatever you guys bring up in the comments. But the theme is the Toyota Tacoma. But I'm not limited to that. I can talk about anything you want as long as it's G-rated um, and clean. You know, it's not that kind of channel. Just saying. Uh, Michelle, and I'm not even going to try that name, says, Hi, Michelle. How you doing? Uh, Heidi Williams says, Snakes are so scary and creepy. Yeah, they are. I'm not a snake fan. Uh, KB Barbecue. Oh, there's that barbecue, and it's past lunchtime for me. Uh, tuned in late. Cheers, everybody. KB, good to have you here. Are you working today selling that barbecue? Um, Joshua Hurtubies. Hurt you buys. Hurt busy? Uh, I tried. How do you feel about, add a, about adding a fusing? How do you feel about add a fusing Raptor lights to the injector fuse? Will it damage the injectors over time? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why it would damage the injectors. Um, I might choose something else that's not so important, like the accessory power, the cigarette lighter, um, anything else. I mean, you, the injector fuse, if you blow that, you kind of stuck, you know. Um, Hamas Hamsa, Hamsa Hasif, Hamsa Hasif. That's my try, says hi, how you doing? Michelle says, do you know about cars? Uh, a little bit, I know a little bit. Ah, that's good stuff, man. Arts and Crafts Girl says, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Al says, in Vietnam, cockroaches can fly. They're so big that they carry mosquitoes as door gunners. Um, they, all cockroaches, I think, can fly. The ones down here certainly can fly, and I can tell you that because I've seen them. I had them land beside me. I think my wife had one land on her. Boy, that was not a pleasant experience. We're moving. We're moving. No. Um, KB Barbecue says, just a backyard guy, but have done competitions in the past. That's right. I remember. I asked you that before. Um, I bet you cook some good stuff. Jonathan says, you interested in next gen forerunner coming out soon, Rob? Have you checked out uh, the new Land Cruiser? No. No, I've got an SUV now. It's the uh, RAV4. Uh, that's enough for me. I'm not really an SUV guy, although I do like the RAV4, but definitely not. It's not my thing. Uh, you know, uh, Michelle, how old are you? How old do you think I am? Take a guess. I'd be curious. Uh, let's see. Uh, Heidi Williams says, bye, Rob. I need to go. Hey, Heidi, thanks for being on. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Michelle, does every car door open? Unless it's broken, I would say yes. Uh, Cadillac fan, I have two English Bull Terriers. I have a white male and multicolor female. They're attached to me. That's awesome. I love dogs. I love animals anyway, but particularly dogs. I love cats, uh, but I'm allergic, so I can't have a cat, although I would have a cat if I could. Um, let's see. Flappy Tortoise, what's your favorite car? My favorite old car is the Chevy Chevelle. Uh, Walter, Sweet Baby Ray's is my favorite barbecue sauce. Sweet Baby Ray's, never heard of it. Is that a, a regional product or is that like a nationwide? Because uh, I'll try it if it is. Not that I'm a big griller, I'm not, but uh, you never know. Uh, let's see, Michelle says 42. Yeah, we'll go with that, I'm 42. Uh, hello, buddy, uh, in some foreign language. Uh, this is an English uh, chat, so unfortunately, I have to remove that because I don't know what you're saying. And since we are a G-rated channel, I can't have you saying things that are potentially not appropriate. So, sorry, that's the way it is. Uh, if you can translate it to English, that would be awesome. Uh, let's see, I don't know English. Well... Again, I'm sorry, uh, but I cannot uh, police 
uh, anything that's not in English because I don't speak whatever language you are putting in there. Uh, but you can use a translator, I suppose, if you were so inclined. Uh, there we go again. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to put you in timeout because you persist uh, in in writing in some language that I don't understand. So sorry, I apologize. But you know the world we live in today, right? All right, we've been on here for good God. We've been on here for an hour and thirteen seconds. I did not intend it to go that that long, but it seems it always does. Because you guys talk a lot, and I like that. I really do appreciate it. Again, I want to give a shout out to the uh, members of the channel. We have four members right now. Uh, if you're looking to join, I think it's up there. It says join. Uh, you can click on that and see what it involves. Jonathan says, so have I. Uh, Jonathan says, sorry, Locke. Um, anyway, appreciate you guys being on. On your way out. This is very important. So if you do anything, if there's one thing you do today that's very important, at least to me, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. I would really appreciate it. And if you're so inclined, don't forget to click the notification bell so that when I go live, which is two times a week, maybe more, it just depends on my mood, uh, you'll get notified. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button too. Uh, finishing up the comments, Al says, we've become a total Toyota family with the Tacoma Corolla <clears throat> Cross and Corolla Hatchback. Thanks for the talk, Rob. Al, thanks for being here. I appreciate you, buddy. Arts and Crafts Girl says, hi, I'm back. We've missed you. Welcome back. But it's time for me to bid you all adieu. Cadillac Fan says, have a good day. You too, buddy. I appreciate you. KB Barbecue Sauce, subscribe with fire. KB Barbecue Sauce, thank you very much. It really does help out the channel. Uh, Fernando says, Rob Motive is custom something. I don't know what the last word means, so I, I can't respond to that. Uh, Mike says, you're the best, Rob. Have a great day. Mike, thank you very much. Appreciate you all. Hope you have a safe and happy rest of your weekend, and we'll see you next on Tuesday, if not before. Bye.